tonight to be joined by someone who was actually at the Jeff Sessions speech, Kristen Wagoner. She's vice president of Alliance Defending Freedom. Kristen, thanks a lot for coming on tonight. Oh, thanks so, for having me. At, you all argue cases pretty routinely before the Supreme Court. As a hate group, how do you get inside the Supreme Court? <laughs> well, we're not a hate group because what we do know is that Americans deserve to have ethically sound reporting. And what they got from ABC and NBC is journalistic malpractice. Alliance Defending Freedom has actually won seven cases in the last seven years before the Supreme Court. And none of it had to do with any LGBT issues. In fact, we won a case just two weeks ago involving the right of a church preschool to be treated equally by the state. And we've litigated more cases than any other organization, protecting the rights of free speech on campus for students. In fact, over 400 legal victories have been chalked up by us. So I think the real question is, why is ABC and NBC willing to promote propaganda and cut and paste the Southern Poverty Law Center press release into its story when the left and the right have discredited this other organization? Calling you a hate group for having basically the same position Barack Obama had when he ran for re-election in 2012, which not 1912, 2012, and you're a hate group for having a position similar to that. Did you complain to ABC and NBC over this? Yes, we are complaining, and fortunately there are others complaining on our behalf too. We've demanded an apology and a retraction of the story. Again, it's nothing more than propaganda, and it's concerning that they would use Southern Poverty Law Center as a source when they have already said that they will attack anyone that opposes their leftist ideology. I don't know if you know this, Tucker, but they've actually opposed and put on their list veterans. They put on their list Catholics, Muslims who oppose terrorism, and even nuns have made this list. They're about shutting down debate and making millions in a direct mail marketing scam. Well, they certainly are, and they have been for decades and decades. What's surprising, though, is after all the stories, the exposés that have run on the Southern Poverty Law Center, Politico just had one. I wrote one 20 years ago. There's really no question what it is. It's a scam. But they are taken seriously by purportedly serious news organizations still. Why is that? Well... I think, again, it's because Americans are losing trust in the media just for this very reason. The SPLC has said they're about attacking enemies and shutting down free speech but for those that don't agree with them. So again, it underscores the fact that these networks would use this as a source instead of using sources that the federal government has said are reliable and that the right and the left rely on. Um, well, how about it does you bring us up what people believe. I mean, I, here's what I object to is the name calling. So obviously, the reporters who wrote these stories disagree with your views. Fine. But why not just explain what your views are and allow readers to come to their own conclusions rather than dismissing you or likening you to the Klan, of all things? Exactly. I mean, if you look at our record, our record speaks for itself. We've played a role in 52 Supreme Court victories over the course of our ministry, and we have a case pending right now, and we just won one. And these cases are not focused on anything other than protecting the rights of all Americans, no matter what their faith is, no matter what their walk of life is, all Americans to speak freely and live consistent with their convictions. And well, that includes people that are with the Southern Poverty Law Center. Exactly. I guess, I mean, it's one thing if someone disagree with you, um, but to be called a member of a hate group is not something I'd want on my Wikipedia page, as ludicrous as it might be. I no, I wouldn't want that. I don't think most people would want that. You know, your neighbors look it up, and you're part of a hate group. I mean, there's a cost to that, a personal cost to that, isn't there? There is a cost to it, and that's why we're fighting back. In, in the, you know, we want to make sure that we're engaging in civil discourse and not stooping to the level of SPLC with name-calling. But again, we would challenge the media and anyone else to look at the record of these organizations. We're about representing people of all walks of life. We're a well-respected advocacy organization before the United States Supreme Court, and they are about putting millions of dollars in an offshore account and attacking anyone that doesn't agree with their leftist ideology. Right. It's but, wrong, it's un-American and unconstitutional. But the fact that NBC is uncritically repeating their propaganda is just absolutely shameful, and I hope they're ashamed of this. Kristen, thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thanks for your time.